Hello from John Frost with Tops for Tennis. In this video, I'm going to show you how a golf tip is going to help you with your tennis game. You're getting a two for one here. You're going to learn how to improve your golf game and your tennis game. Enjoy the video. If you've never heard of Lee Trevino before, he's one of the best golfers of all time. He had a, a golf tip that I absolutely loved, and it totally relates to tennis. I'll share the link below. Make sure you watch the video because it's pretty interesting. If you're a golfer, you're going to really, really appreciate it. So here's the concept. He talks about the golf swing as thinking of, think, your think of your body as a tree or a trunk, right? The trunk or the core is really where you're going to look to generate the power. The arm is really a branch, right? It's kind of going along for the ride. It will assist in finding the ball, but if you think about it, the large muscles, the core muscles, the legs, you know, our, our abs, back muscles, they're really where we generate the power. This rotational force is where we can generate an extreme amount of power. This arm really assists in finding the ball. So what I want you to think of is in your tennis swing, let's set that right side, right on the forehand side. We're going to set that right side. That comes from uh, John, Chuck Tomlin and John Carpenter from Congruent Tennis. Set the right side, and then let's use that core or that rotational force to find the ball. Once we find it, then we can lift up and across. We can do some different things with the ball. But the key is, think of this as a trunk. Use your core to get more on your forehand and it's amazing when you truly start to be able to hone in on this and really utilize this shot and this technique you get so much more power the arm or the branch is along for the ride the power comes from the core or from that tree trunk so let's show you a few shots on the top spin pro and how i address this technique and utilize and get the feel on the shot. So let's go ahead and do some shadow swings here on the top spin pro. But my thought is set the right side of the body, set that right side and find that ball. And I'm really just utilizing my hips and shoulders to find it. So it's here and then up and across. Once we feel comfortable there, let's actually do a drop feed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop feed and I'm going to hit and I'm going to get that rotation, that core, to do more here on my shot. I'll show you what it looks like. And I've talked about this before. My hands are quiet. As I track, this unit turn really sets this right side. So my hands are quiet, and I set the right side. Now I let my tree trunk, I let the trunk rotate. The branch is along for the ride. Once I find that ball, that's where I'm going to lift up and across on that forehand. I'll show you another drill. You apply show you from the back side kind of what this looks like setting that right side, and then using those hips and shoulders to square up. And here's the deal, whether you, you set that racket on edge or you close the face, one thing to always keep in mind is when we rotate and utilize that hip and shoulder turn, that racket head will square up naturally. Try not to force it, I'm not really thinking about that. So I'll show you once again with the drop feed, that rotation, what it looks like. What I can really feel here is when I do this, I feel this left hip engage, it ignites, and then that's where we get that lag with that racket head and it squares up. 
naturally to the ball. All right, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so yet, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share the video with your friends. If your coaches, share it with your players. This can help a lot. Thank you so much. Have a great day.